Hi everyone, I received a comment asking how to get data from Google Sheets and while getting the data split the name into surname and last name. So for example we have this data over here and we have name as full first name and last name together. Um, for that let's go to Integromat, let's create a module with watching changes. I'll start over. So here we choose Google Sheets and then we have watch rows, watches for new rows. So this is what we need. Every time we receive data to Google Sheets, it automatically every 15 minutes fires and uh, processes a new data. For that we need to create a connection. I already have one here. Then we need to choose the spreadsheet. And the sheet number is one. Yeah. In my case, table contains headers and rows with headers are from A to A1 to Z1. So yeah. this one is headers for me. If you don't have headers, just click now and the uh, first table row would be for you then A1 to Z1, so as if your data would start from here. And the limit of rows to be processed, let's put one, so each 15 minutes you process one new person. Then we need to start uh, with all of them, not with the specific ID. And then ID would be this this row, this number over here. But in our case it's all. Then clicking OK. Then uh, we need to add the JSON. Uh, it's aggregate to JSON over here. We watching uh, watching um, sources uh, Google Sheets for us. And the data structure, let's add the data structure. Let's call it list of subscribers. Here we click add item and first uh, key would be name then we have email and let's also add last name to have them separately right and this one we will change to first name. Now we click save and now we need to specify. So the first name would be, as we have it here, um, name. The last name we don't have yet. And the email would be email. Let's try and run it. As we can see, Google Sheets outputs the first guy, Matt Fletcher. And the JSON is outputted, we have email, correct, last name is no for now, and the first name is including first name and last name together. So that's working. Now in between of them, we need to put this transformer called match pattern. Let's just put in between. Uh, so it's the text parser and the pattern would be this okay uh, so where did i get this there is a website called regex101.com and here i have the regex library so regex are regular expressions and we need that to split uh, the first name and last name and how we will split it we will see if the name string from Google Sheets has the space. If it has the space, that means space probably divides first name and last name. And we need to find the space to figure out where the first name and where's the last name. The first part would be the first name and uh, the second part of the name would be the last name for us. So there is a regex library over here on the left. I click there. Uh, so let's try putting the name split 
we have here full name full name split maybe this one uh, let's go to editor here we have the editor and this is not for the this is not for the name this is for the file names let's go back split full name to last middle yeah this is what we need and you see there are tests already been done examples let's do it that let's try one of our names searching here and match information here we received the match and we have group one is met group two is empty and group three is Fletcher so why group two is empty because I think because this match is for middle name last name and first name and we only have first name and last name um, let's try putting the the third string and right so we have first name then it, uh, the expression thinks that this this is a middle name and the test is the last name uh, but in our case we need to take on the uh, group one and group three now I copy this and you see here I have slightly different pattern but that's all right that's they are the same this one is even shorter and this pattern by the way will be in the in the description of the video and now what text should be processed we take name now we go back to json so for the first name now we take from the text pattern we take first occurrence and for the last name we take the last occurrence click on ok let's try and run it and as an output you see what we're getting we're getting the json email last name and first name so now this json has the full name split into two into the first name and last name so i think that's that's what we want from it now i will not continue further but uh, then you can add some I don't know either it is woodpecker or something else so if we say it's woodpecker we, we choose it and uh, yeah here we just create a prospect or add prospect to campaign yeah let's try I need to connect right and then just take from JSON you're just taking the email and the first name whatever you need but you now have the full name split. Now Integromat knows that some of the rows has been processed already and it will not touch it. So as an example, we have here four rows and if I will continue with this, um, we took Oliver Bennett and Oliver is ID is three. Let's do it one more time. Now we have uh, Daniel and it will not go further because we are out of subscribers. We are out of people in the in the spreadsheet. Um, so that's all right then. And you see, it haven't processed anything, and it will watch for the new rows every fifteen minutes. And if there are no new rows, so nothing will happen. So I hope I've answered uh, the question. If you have any more questions, please uh, ask me in the comments. Thank you.